Hey guys, this is Justin from LitTube coming at you straight from the bunker, and I got to give you my take on my Los Angeles Rams uh, draft pick here in the second round. Um, they went ahead and drafted Gerald Everett, tight end from South Alabama, and I got really mixed feelings about this. My gut tells me it was the wrong move because you had Juju Smith-Schuster on the board. You had Chris Godwin on the board. They could have locked in a solid young receiver to bring on the ball club. I wanted them to draft one of those guys uh, now that it seems like all the good offensive linemen are gone. I uh, definitely think they should have picked one of those guys, Juju Smith or Chris Godwin. Those were the best receivers left, in my opinion. Um, but they went ahead and drafted... Gerald Everett, and Gerald Everett, I mean, he has really good measurables. He's very athletic, um, great catch radius, really good agility, strength. I mean, he's he's good athletic-wise for the most part, but I just have some questions because he's about to be 23 years old, so it's not like you're getting a young phenom tight end. Uh, you know, he's he's already coming in at around 23 years old as a rookie. He uh, he was very dominant in college, but for a small school, I mean, so you have to discount that to a certain uh, amount, right? I mean, if you're if you come out and you're really dominant at a large school, then you pretty much know the guy's going to be good, or at least there's a really high chance of him being good. But I, I just think for a second round pick for a guy that this has got is no mean by no means is Gerald Everett a can't miss prospect. I got a lot of question marks about this guy. Um, I think that. You know, you look at O.J. Howard, look at David Njoku, you look at, um, I mean, even, uh, you know, Ingram, uh, it all went in the first round. I mean, those guys are a lot better, especially Njoku and Howard. I mean, those guys are a lot better than this guy. So, I mean, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't really like this pick, but at this point, you just got to hope that this guy pans out and is an exception to the rule, you know, and is that small school tight end that, you know, didn't really break out at an early age, but still ends up being good. So that's where we're at. You know, I just hope that the Rams can salvage this draft in the later rounds, somehow find a good receiver late. Uh, I think the opportunity might still be there to do that. And we've got other needs, offensive line, defense. I don't even know if we're going to be able to really address those needs in this draft because now we're already going to probably not have another pick to like the third, fourth round. So I mean, at that point, how, how many good guys can you really get, right? So anyways, that's my take on this pick. I'm not impressed, but at this point as a fan, all you can do is hope that the guy pans out. Uh, so uh, I'm going to continue my coverage on the draft with live updates. See you guys soon.